Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be doing a Blox Fruits fruit tier list. Now, as you can see down here, there's all of the fruits. This slot right here is poor. And I'll be showing you my opinion on what is the best, worst, and in between fruits in Blox Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Plus, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. So subscribing would be amazing. Let's get straight into the video. All right, so the first fruit on this list is Barrier. Barrier's actually not quite bad. I would put it in C tier for now, considering it can do some pretty nasty combos, but no one uses it, and most of the moves aren't very good. Next is Bomb Fruit. Obviously, since it's the cheapest fruit in the game, it goes straight to S plus, F tier. Next, we've got Buddha. Buddha regular is pretty bad, but I guess you'll just use it for farming and stuff. But Awakened Buddha is really good for f not only farming, it's actually pretty good for PvP as well. But I do not recommend using it for PvP since all you do in PvP with Buddha is just spam your click moves most of the time. Next is Chop. Chop is pretty good actually, as a support fruit, it's terrible as a regular fruit, I'll put it in C tier with barrier since with chop fruit you cannot get hurt by swords no matter what. So it's not bad for farming and it's not bad for PvP as well. Control fruit, I'll put it in A tier because you have to keep summoning your room again and again. When you first get control, you've only got levitate and it's only got two other moves which are echo knife and gamma gamma uh, the gamma thing they aren't too bad but they aren't very good either next we got dark unawakened dark i will put it with unawakened buddha since its moves are all right but they could be better and the awakened dark i'm just going to put that straight into s plus since it's amazing if you use sword or gun stats since the stun lasts forever <laughs> it's really good stun like three out of the four actual moves not including the teleport have really nice stun on them so they're great for combos as well for farming not too great but not bad at all next is diamond diamond's not too bad I mean, the encrust gives you extra defense, but doesn't have much going for the fruit. Dwarf fruit is good for PvP. It's got a nice versatility for what you can use it for. Putting it in A, since it's just a mobility fruit, if you use it for with fruit stats, then you ain't gonna win many battles. Next is dough. Dough is one of my absolute favorite fruits to use. I love it. S plus. It's got the sticky dough, which is a combo starter. It's amazing. Pair it with soul cane, and you got a really good combo. Next is dragon. Dragon, I put it in S plus as well. It's got f three moves, which are the heat blast, the draconic claw, and fire shower. They are very good for PvP. They're all right for farming, but you can just spam them and basically win the entire fight. Next is Falcon. Falcon, I haven't seen much use of it, so I'll put it in D. It's pretty terrible. Actually, I'll put it just above Diamond, since Diamond doesn't even have a flight move like Falcon. Next is Flame. The regular Flame is pretty good for farming and stuff. It's PvP capabilities are alright. The Awakened Flame is in A tier since it's got a pretty good kit. And the V move, the V ability, the giant flame ball, has really good range and it's a big AoE and stuff like that. Gravity! I really am disappointed in this fruit. It had the potential to be all the way up here, but the the Z move is a push, so the push that pushes your opponents away doesn't even do too much damage. The next move is a stun. I like the stun, but 
it has so much an end lag on it, your opponent can get a combo off you using it. So that's really bad. The Meteor Strike and Meteor Shower take forever to come out and the Meteor Shower is just random all over the place. You can't even choose where it hits. So for that reason, I'm putting it in B. Next, I have Ice. Ice, Unawakened Solid A tier, really good. And Awakened Ice, I'm putting it with Dark. Actually, I'm gonna move Doe up as well. Ice, the Unawakened V is the best stun in the game, in my opinion, since it stuns forever and you can get an easy combo off of it. And the Awakened is just much more range, the V-move is not bad on that, but I recommend using the Unawakened V-move and then all of the rest is Awakened for Ice. Next is Kilo. It's got a pretty bad kit, but at least you can fly. Put it under Diamond in D tier. Next is Light. The Unawakened Light, it's pretty good for farming. First C, I really recommend using this. Put that in a high B tier. Awakened Light is good for farming, but also good for PvP. So I'll put that above door in A tier. Next is Love. Love's range is really, really small, but I it can have some pretty nasty combos. It's terrible for farming though. So I'll put it above flame. Next is Magma. Magma Unawakened is good, it's a solid fruit, it's got nice air effect moves, and it's got the slowest flight in the game, so I put it bottom A tier. Awakened Magma, though, has got a great flight move, which does damage. All of the abilities, or almost all of them, put Magma on the floor, which pretty much is, if anyone steps in it, they get damage. So that's a nice upside. And you can walk on water now, like ice. So I'll put that in S tier. Now this invisible fruit right here, poor. The teleport's really good since it's frame one teleport. You press the F key, instantly teleport. It's good for getting out of combos. But the actual kit isn't too great. I'll put it in A tier. Let me just move ice up there. But the V-move stun is really nice. It's sad that the range of the V-move is terrible. Next is Phoenix. Unawakened Phoenix is disgusting. It's got two attack moves and the rest is junk aside from the heal. And if you use Unawakened Phoenix for PvP, I feel sorry for you. I'll put this in C tier. The next is Awakened Phoenix. Awakened Phoenix is really good. I've seen it used in PvP. Almost all of its moves, or all of its moves, do damage. It's really nice fruit. I recommend getting it, even though it's extremely hard to get. You need 400 mastery on it to actually awaken it. I put that in S tier, above Magma. Next is Quake. Awakened Quake is pretty bad. Put it bottom B tier. Awakened Quake is very good for PvP, terrible for farming, knocks all the enemies away. So the Awakened Quake I'll put above control, top A tier. Next is Revive. Revive's pretty handy since when you die you get an extra life. It's only got two damaging moves. It's kind of like a support fruit like Chop or Door. So I'll place it right below door since door has lots of mobility moves. Next is rubber. You got rubber, gear one and gear two. Two is not bad, but it's definitely not good either. Gear one's pretty bad as well. So I'll put rubber bottom of B tier. Rumble, unawakened is surprisingly good for an unawakened fruit. I'm putting it mid, just above flame awakened, I'd say, since it's got the teleport and the stuns are very nice on it. Awakened Rummel 
has even better stuns than the unawakened version, as you'd hope, since it's awakened. It's a solid PvP fruit, I'll put it right above Buddha in S tier. Sand is our next fruit that we're looking at. Unawakened is not too bad, but it's not too good either. I'll put it right above gravity in B tier. The awakened version's super annoying to fight against. It is it's got really low cooldowns for its moves. It's got tons of stun moves. It's just exceedingly annoying to fight against, but it will give you an easy victory. So I'll put that in bottom S tier or S plus tier. Next is Shadow. Shadow's got some good potential. Its moves are really nice, especially the heal move and the final move where you use an AoE explosion to create a field of bats. Shadow is good for combos, but it if you don't if you aren't very good at combos then it's not the best. Bottom S tier. Next is Smoke. Smoke is a low gear, so that's very nice to use for farming, even though its moves are pretty trash. Since it's a low gear, I'm going to put it top of C tier. Actually, bottom of B tier and move rubber down. I'm going to skip Soul for now, go straight to Spike. Spike's basically like Bomb, slightly better. Next is Spin. Spin's moves look not bad, actually, but the flight... I like, so I'll put it above Falcon. Spring, I don't really know why some people would use it. I do not like it. Top F tier. Now String, String Fruit is pretty bad, Unawakened. It's not even a Luki Fruit. Unawakened String, straight to the bottom of B tier. Awakened String, however, aside from the C move, the Unawakened C moves much better. It's a pretty good PvP fruit. It's alright for farming, but I would not recommend using it for farming. I'll put it right below Awakened Quake. Next, we have Soul and Venom. Start off with Venom. Venom is the most <laughs> annoying fruit to go up against, and it's the most fun fruit to use, but it does get boring pretty quickly. Since the first move shoots like a machine gun type thing of poison, the second move's almost auto aim, or it does have auto aim, which is really nice. The third move is like a moving toxic cloud that that is around your body. It's really annoying if you're going up against it and trying to do combos with something like dark or doe. And the transformation is even more annoying than that. So I will put it above dragon and above ice. Yeah, I'll do that. Move and above dark. So it's the second best so far in S plus tier. And finally soul. Soul was really, really fun to use. You can just get out of a lot of combos with the C move since it stuns the enemy so they can't use any moves for like a second the combos are really fun with it and the end of times move the final ability it's crazy the amount of damage it can do plus you can summon summon buddies to stun enemies for poisoning and for healing yourself soul is not bad for farming but it is in my opinion, the best fruit for PvP. I'll move Venom up one because it's better than Doe. Oh, and I forgot to talk about Venom's farming capabilities. It's good since it's got a lot of a lot of area of effect moves and puddles on the ground which act like awakened magma, damage over time, things that the enemies can step in, so it's pretty good for farming as well. That is my completed tier list. I'd like to know what you guys would put at the top of your tier lists so tell me in the comments below if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when i make a new video thanks for watching and see you all next time